the number one piece of advice that we give anyone who is even thinking of starting a website is to start a What's good party people? It's Raza right here from UX2 Agency and today we wanted to break down five of the top things that we consider for every web design project we perform. These are the top things we consider and help our clients figure out from day one after contracts are signed. So if you'd like to discuss how these can benefit you and your brand, reach out to us and schedule a free consultation. We'd love to understand you and your situation and see where we can best help. But without further ado, let's get into the list. So starting with number five, your site along with everything else you create should follow one brand standard. And by brand standard, I'm talking about the colors, the fonts, and any other visual element that make up the presentation of your branding. So for example, UXU uses a specific type of green, which is a color code 006043 and a tan that is FFFFF0. Having these color codes and other standards allow me to ensure that no matter what platform I'm using or process I'm adding to my system, it all feels like a seamless experience for my clients because it all looks the same. If you're not already following a standard to bring cohesiveness to your brand, I highly suggest you do so. This standard goes into your site, your social media, your merch, everything. Once you decide what these elements are, it also makes creating content that much more easy because you just have a standard to follow. Think about how it will be working with outside designers with clear instructions on making anything match your company's brand. <laughs> That'll make everybody's life easier. Number four, when it comes to adding pages and content to your site, always remember less is more. Adding more and more options to your site will actually leave you seeing less action being taken. Customers that have too many choices find it much easier to just not choose at all. I remember people telling me to my face that they didn't make an order on my site because there were so many options and they felt they could just come back whenever they felt. Take the time to truly think about what the main purpose of your website is. What should the end goal be? Once you have that figured out, make sure everything on your website is designed to lead people toward that goal. Don't add things to your website just for the sake of it or because the shit look cool. Remember, last. This one is a little bit advanced, but I feel it's vital for your future growth. Number three is installing a tracking pixel onto your website. Those who aren't already hip, a pixel is a piece of code that tells your ad manager like Facebook ads who is visiting your website. You can set up triggers for certain actions people take on your website, such as looking at a video, looking at a certain page, or buying something from your store. Having this functionality sets you up to create some really cool campaigns that can automatically deliver content to your target audience based on where and how they interacted with your digital real estate. So let me give you an example. Say you set up a pixel to track your store orders. We can set up a follow-up ad that shows a thank you video to only those who bought something from your store. With this, we can create multiple layers of engagement that in time, automate a lot of the process of turning your ideal audience into faithful fans. All right, so number two is one I've seen a lot of people get tripped up right from the start. And that is picking the right domain name, shoot. More so than that, the right name for your brand as a whole. This is something that actually caused my first clothing line to fail, which is why I am so adamant on teaching others what I've learned. You have to be very selective when picking a name for your brand and do your research. One idea may sound good, but based upon what's already out there, you might be putting yourself at a disadvantage from the get-go. So here's the best way that I have found to pick a new brand name. It's actually quite simple, really. Once you have your idea, take it and Google that shit. Now, the less results that come up for that name, the better place you're in. When there's a small number of results for the name you want, once you actually start creating your site, social media, blog posts, YouTube videos, Twitter posts, etc., all of that digital real estate will quickly fill up the first pages of a search for that keyword. Now, on the flip side of that equation, if there are too many results for the name that you want, 
you'll be fighting to ever get your brand seen without spending a lot of money just for a hope your results show up in the top 10 pages. So this is something that can make your life much easier or much harder from the start. Don't rush this one or fall in love with just one idea. The number one piece of advice that we give anyone who is even thinking of starting a website is to start a newsletter and start collecting the emails of your audience. This is the prime way to own your own audience and turn data into opportunities. Apart from having a direct link to build relationship with your number one fans, having a spreadsheet of your ideal audience's emails opens the floodgates for exponential growth. Using ad campaigns and just other strategic placements, you can turn your 100 person guest list into a thousand raving fans. If you are not collecting user emails on your website in some way, stop what you're doing right now and start that list. It's your number one digital asset into owning your audience and your digital real estate. And that is five of the biggest things that we consider when building our clients' websites. I hope that you found this video helpful and it gave you some starting points on what to think about and where to continue your research for your website build. We are looking to create more videos like this, so please comment below with what questions you have when it comes to building your audience as a music artist and building your website to support your creative business. The UXU team is here and would love to help. This is Rosa Rye from UXU Agency. Until next time, keep it easy.